Niger State government reminds private companies of their corporate responsibilities to host communities. Non-governmental organization charges government at all levels to advance the right of girl child. Court convict five for theft in Zengiru Dam site. Hello viewers and thanks for joining us on Lina TV. My name is Aisha Gambu Dang Azumi. Now the news. President Bola Ahmed Tinibu approved the appointment of new returning chiefs executive to fresh terms in office across multiple agencies under the Federal Ministry of Communication, Innovation and Digital Economy. In a statement issued by Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Ajuri Ngelele, the appointment take effect, immediate effect. The appointees are EVC CEO, Nigerian Communication Commission, Aminu Maida, MD CEO Nigerian Communication Satellite Limited Nkechi Igatun Idihe DG CEO National Information Technology Development Agency Kashifo Inwa Abdullahi National Commissioner CEO Nigerian Data Protection Commission Dr. Vincent Olatunji Postmaster General CEO Nigerian Postal Service Tola Tola Odeyemi The statement further stated that in line with the Tinibus determination to maximally leverage on Nigerians proven technological and digital economic prowess to, res to reposition the nation's economy towards greater financial inclusion. The president has approved the appointment of a new special advisor to the president. Special advisor to the president on technology and digital economy, Idris Ala Alubankudi. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Iris Malagi, has charged federal media organizations to take advantage of technology and use their vast reach across the nation towards reorienting citizens for peace, unity and development. The Minister, in a statement by Deputy Director of Press, Federal Ministry of Information and National Orientation, Suleiman Haruna, made the remarks on the second day of the familiarization for of the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, the Voice of Nigeria, and News Agency of Nigeria under his ministry. The minister said the organizations are the nation's eyes broadcast media and the widely known and respected brands in households across the country, stating that they are the nation's news vendor and conveyor belt for good news coming out of Nigeria to the world. He added that they have made a measurable contribution towards information and enlightening Nigerian building bridge of cooperation across the country's diversity and contributing to democracy and national development. Furthermore, he acknowledged their efforts in engaging with global audience and providing a platform for international discussion through eight important languages, which are crucial for Nigerians' image and diplomatic endeavors. Niger State government has reminded private organizations and the state of their corporate social responsibility to their host communities. The Commissioner of Humanitarian Affairs Disaster Management, Ahmed Baba Suleiman Yumu, made this suggestion when he led management of the Ministry on Advocacy to the North South Power Company in Shururu Hydro Dam. A statement issued by the Director of Media and Strategy of the Ministry, Habib Ushishi, said the Commissioner represented by the Permanent Secretary, Barrister Mayra Mohammed Man, noted that the visit was aimed at building synergy between the Ministry and the company. Ahmed Yumu enumerated some areas that need intervention such as constructions, renovation, furnishing of school, building of, building of permanent IDP camps, provision of portable drinking water, as well as healthcare facilities, among others. The commissioner reiterates that the administration of Governor Umar Mohammed Bagu will not take it lightly with any company who shy away from its corporate responsibility. A non-governmental organization, Esteem Hub Foundation, has stressed the need for government at all levels to advance the rights, opportunities, as well as well-being of the girl child by investing in girls' education, promotes gender equality, and fostering supportive environment. The executive director of Esteem Hub Foundation, Presence Osudu Abudu, made the plea during an awareness campaign to Mariam Babangida Girl Science College, Mina, as part of activities to mark the 2023 International Day of Girl Child, with the theme, Investing in Girls' Rights, Our Leadership, Our Well-Being. 
Princess Ogudu, who was represented by the admin officer of the foundation, Dominic Igigbegbe, explained that the campaign was aimed at creating awareness on the importance of being confident as a girl, be bold and take charge of their bodies and to fight low self-esteem figure. The executive director had earlier unveiled African activ activists for Climate Justice Club in the school. Highlight of the campaign was the distribution of learning materials to the students. Five workers of Sino Hydropower Project at the Zengiero Hydropower Dam in Niger State are to share a total of six years and ten months in a correctional facility after they were convicted and sentenced to Minute Chief Magistrate Court 1. Also, the court convicted two people for conspiring among themselves to vandalize an armored cable from the powerhouse of Zengiero Hydropower Dam. The presiding chief magistrate, Omar Khatoum Mohammed, while passing her sentence, said this, the sentence of three others were without the option of a fine, while one of them was with a 50,000 naira option. The convicts were Hali Rugerba, a security man attached to Zengeru Hydropower Dam, Olori Joshua, a welder at Sino Hydropower Project, Musa Magaji, and, and Yusuf Anas. Umar Kutum Muhammad convicted them after they all pleaded guilty to their three counter counts charges brought against them by the men of the state criminal investigation and intelligence department of Niger State Police Command. And that is about the size of our package today. Do join us on all our social media platform at Lina TV 247 or visit our website on www.linatv.com.ng. Do have a lovely day.